This is Varanasi. For Hindus, it's one of the holiest sites in all of India. Part of what makes it so special is the orientation of its sacred river as it flows past the city. This is the one place on the Ganges where you can bathe in the river on this shore and you can see the sunrise on the eastern shore. It's the only place where the Ganges turns around to the north, so you can do that. When the sun rises tomorrow, a truly extraordinary phenomenon will take place, a total eclipse of the sun. It's an auspicious occasion for a place that ancient Hindus knew as the solar city. Science is different to all the other systems of thought, the belief systems that have been practiced in this city for millennia, because you don't need faith in it, you can check that it works. So, for example, I can tell you that tomorrow morning at precisely 6.24am, the moon will cover the face of the sun and there will be a total solar eclipse. I could tell you that in 2904, there will be five solar eclipses on the Earth. And I could tell you that on July 16, 2186, there will be the longest solar eclipse for 5,000 years, seven minutes. However, as anyone who's been to India in June, July will know, the, the climate is not entirely predictable, right? It's a, it's a cloudy, rainy place. Um, and so we took a huge gamble. It's 5.28, so that's time of first contact. And you can't see the disk of the sun at the moment. The, it's obscured by low cloud. The, the edge of the moon is at this point, just beginning to touch the disk of the sun. You can see the sun emerging through the clouds. See the disk. Oh, and you can see the moon. Can you see the moon on the, on the top? Oh, yeah. You can see the limb of the moon there, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, see the sun. You can see the, the celestial mechanics, the clockwork of the solar system at work. The, the alignment is absolutely perfect. Oh, there. convincing that we live in the solar system, that we are on a ball of rock orbiting around the sun with other balls of rock, then look at that. That's the, the solar system coming down and grabbing you by the throat. It's one of the most remarkable things I've ever experienced, because this piece of rock went across the face of the sun on time to the second, exactly as had been predicted using Newton's laws. And I have got this feeling that I'm, I'm on a piece of rock in space. And it was this totally unexpected feeling. Look at that! 